Hi, welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review Studio, and welcome back to another Fan Home D'Agostini Build the Batmobile. Yes, I am back with shipment number three, or pack three. I'll be working on phases six, seven, and eight. Let's get started. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review Studio and welcome back to a fantastic installment of the D'Agostini Fan Home Build the Batmobile. Now I am working on phases 6, 7, and 8 and in these phases I continue to work on the engine in all three phases here. This is fantastic. If you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home, that's where it's currently available, and subscribe to this build today. Please do it today because if you don't it may not be there tomorrow so um don't don't hesitate to subscribe to this i'm having a blast building this already and uh it's the most anticipated kit of the year and i'm sure you'll be very pleased with it also so without further ado let's go ahead and look at the parts that came in this pack phase six looks like part of the transmission Phase 7 looks like the right hand side of the engine and phase 8 the bottom of the engine. Let's get started on phase 6. Please pause the video. Only a small percentage of you subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel really helps me out. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Now let's get on with the show. And I'm very pleased to bring this to you again with phase six. Let's go ahead and look at the magazine. The magazine is uh, fantastic here. They have wonderful articles about the TV show, episode guides and all that. So season one, episode six, the Joker is wild. Continuing on here, they have uh, great Batman comics. So they get into the comics, comic books. I've never collected the comic books, but I'm sure a few of you have. Continuing on, they have Batman year by year. So this is Batman 1944. And then we get into the step-by-step -step instructions for phase number six. Your car parts, bell housing, and we'll locate our part that we assembled in the previous pack. Um, and we'll add that to the back of the transmission let's get a closer look at the step-by-step -step instructions and here it is here's the parts included with the bell housing lots of screws listed here three different four different types of screws they give us a nice little parts locator there and talk about our first stages of this build Attaching the bell housing to the back side of the one side of the transmission case and putting all that together. One last little piece to go on the gearbox there. And that's what it should look like. Let me get the parts, I'll be right back. And here's the parts for phase six. Normally I'm calling them stages, and we normally do call them stages in these builds, but the instructions do point out that they are phases for this build. Let's get a closer look. AM screws, DM screws, CM screws, and DP screws. Two halves of the transmission here, and it's very nice there, nice uh, metallic silver. Uh, it is made of metal, so that's fantastic there. Very nice. And then all the attachment components, the oil, the pan for the transmission, and it looks like the U-joints for the, uh, the drive shaft. We'll attach this bracket to the bottom of the oil pan. I think it's going to hold the oil pan in place. Everything here is plastic. Two DP screws go into this. That's what that looks like there. Now we're going to install this on the underside of the transmission. And 
and I put a little 3-in-1 oil onto this. It is a flange screw. That's all we've used so far in this build. Looks good. You can see how the pan is situated there. It has an angle to it. Next we'll put the bell housing on the transmission and you want to have your starter bump there on this side here and I'll insert that right there in place. Once again another DM screw goes into this. I put some oil on it and that looks good. Turn it over, that's how that looks there. Next I'll put the U-joint on the back. That will hook up to our drive shaft. And the other side of the transmission. Just like that. Two CM screws will go into this, hold all this together. That's good there. That looks great. Both are in. We got one more thing to do. I'm going to put a mount on the bottom. That's simply going to go down on top. We're going to put AM screws into that. They're both loose right now. I'll just tighten them both down. Great. And that's what that looks like. Looks great. That completes phase six. Let's head over and do phase seven. Let's look at phase seven. And the TV show, Instant Freeze from season one, episode seven. Great Batman comics, The Long Halloween. And Batman year by year, Batman 45. and our parts, which we'll be working on the right side of the engine. Looks good there. Let's get a close-up view of the instructions. And with phase seven, we work on the right side of the engine, including the distributor. Here's the parts. And of course, the location is around the engine area. Going to install a bracket on the right side of the engine. Then we'll work on the distributor cap and plugs. Vacuum and advance unit for the distributor. The distributor shaft will go down, then the distributor cap on top of that. Let me get the parts, I'll be right back. Phase 7 parts. Let's get a closer look. AM screw, TP screw, and here's our right side of the engine made of metal. Our distributor cap, our plugs. Uh, these look like motor mounts. They are made of metal, these two parts here. And the vacuum advance. And the mount for the distributor. The right engine connector and bracket, we're going to put these together. They both have an R on them on the back side. And we're going to put the two backs facing each other, just like that. And there's a tab that lines up. You can see that. Just like that. Hold it together. And I'm going to put an AM screw in on top here. I put a little bit of oil on it and I'm going to get it to line up here and screw it down tight. There we go. That's how that looks. We'll go ahead and mount this bracket to the side of the engine. It's going to mount into this with that right there. I'm going to make sure this little dip here is going to be facing up just like that. 
And on the back side, we're going to put an AM screw into it. There we go. That's straight. That's how that looks. Okay, we'll take our distributor cap. That looks pretty cool there. It has a little top here, the center part. That will get pushed down in place. Just like that. There we go. That's how that looks. And then we'll take our the cap plugs and we're going to put those on top. And so I don't lose them, I'm leaving them on the tree for now and pushing it in place. And then I'll cut it. And I'll cut it off. And I'll continue that with the other seven. And the last one. The key here is to leave it on the tree, the part on the tree, so you don't lose them. And then cut them off. And there you go. I'll put it on my mat just to make sure all of them are pushed down all the way. And they are. And that's how that looks. And we had two spare. Now we have the vacuum advanced canister. That goes on the side of the distributor. It is keyed. It has a flat spot and that will press fit also. Perfect. That's how that looks. Now to mount the distributor shaft and it is keyed in. It has a flat edge on it and you can just barely see it there. You can see it on that one there and I'll turn it all the way around till it's up against it. Just like that. And that's so it doesn't turn while you put your screw in. A TP screw goes in on the back. That's good there. That's secure. And lastly, we'll put the distributor on top. It is also keyed. Has a flat. That's how that looks. Looks great. And the other side. That's all I do with phase seven. Let's head over and do the final phase for this pack, phase eight. Let's look at the magazine for phase eight. And TV show once again, Rats Like Cheese, season one, episode eight. And again, comic books, The Courts of Owls. And year by year for the Batman, Batman 46. And the parts here. Continue on the engine. We'll put the oil pan on, the generator for the engine of the model. Okay, so step by step going on. Here's all our parts listed. Step by step, we have rows again, like we did before. So let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for phase eight. Let's get a closer look. Once again, AP and TP screws. Everything here for the generator. The little mount bracket here is metal. That's pretty cool. And for our oil pan, everything here is plastic. I love the finish on it, the metallic finish there. Looks great. Here's a close up of the step by step instructions. And all the parts there. A lot going on here. And of course, a listing of those parts. One and two, we'll go straight down so you can kind of see what's going on there. And the one pager on the back. We'll be assembling the oil pan, so I'm going to flip this over because this is actually going to mount just like that. We're going to put two AP screws into this. Very easy to go in. No oil required because this is plastic. And that's good. 
That's how that looks. We have these two parts here. We have to put this hose on it. It's going to press fit. It's an oil pan hose bracket. And that will press fit onto the side of the pan. You can see there's a hole there for it and a pin. Just like that. Next we'll put the oil pan top on and this is the top right here. And you definitely want to have this part here towards the back of the pan. And it's simply just going to go down on top there. AP screw goes into that. And that's how that looks. Now we'll work on the generator. And we have the first two parts of the generator. We're going to put this little fan on here. And it's simply just going to go over the top. Just like that. And the first part of the pulley, which is the bigger piece of the pulley, that's going to go over the top there. And the smaller part of the pulley is going to go over the top of it. And you can see it kind of looks like a pulley from the side. I'm going to put a TP screw into that. And that's secure there. That's what that looks like. That looks great. Now I'm going to mount this to the front of the generator, just like that. And another TP screw goes into there. Lock that all down. That's how that looks. And lastly, we'll put our cap on. It's just a press fit. That's how that looks. I brought over the engine half, and this is going to mount right there. And we'll put a TP screw into that from the other side. And snug it down. That's good there. And there you go. That completes phase number eight. I had a blast building this. Nothing was really hard. And we're really coming along with this engine. I'll be right back. And that completes the third shipment, or pack number three, for Build the Batmobile. I completed phases six, seven, and eight. And as you can see here, we have started on the engine. We have a little ways to go. Everything was pretty easy here and had no problems whatsoever. Very uh, easy to follow the instructions and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to the next one. I just can't wait. I go day by day waiting for that next shipment. And I believe in the next shipment, we receive more phases. So that, that makes me happy because I want to build more and more of this. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this today. Don't wait because if you wait, it'll be too late. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. The best way you can support my channel it's a, the free way, and that is to subscribe. And that just helps me out immensely. I can't tell you how much that helps me out. And I do appreciate everybody who has been watching this series. And I'll bring it to you again in the next shipment. So with that, happy modeling and take care.